Hello, I'm Sarah Jensen, editor of OEM Off Highway, and welcome to Design and Engineering Insights. Today, I'll be speaking with Sue Ozdemir, CEO of XRO, about a new electric powertrain technology the company is developing. So thank you, Sue, for joining me today. Thank you for having me, Sarah. Uh, so maybe just to start the conversation, if you could maybe go into how or why uh, the company is developing this new e-axle with coil driver technology. Right, so um, Extro is a power electronics company that's pioneering what we call intelligent electrification. So a new way to market with controls for motors, batteries, and generators. And our partnership with Linamar is really about developing the next generation of electrification technology, which we believe will be with the axles. Okay, great. And so could you maybe go into, um, I know the information we received about the technology it uses is coil driver technology. Could you go into what that is and um, how that benefits this e-axle technology in general? Yeah, for sure. So our coil driver is our inaugural product. So it was our first product to market where we really look to develop a tighter level of control to the motor. And so we've called it our coil driver. It's based on the physics of electric motors called coil switching. And we are applying that physics to the electronics. So it's what we believe is the first to market for the ability to electronically control an electric motor. And what we do really is we have the ability to optimize two separate torque profiles, one for torque and one for speed within a single motor allowing it to dynamically have different torque and speed profiles in, in a driving cycle is an ideal application for us. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so um, what might be uh, some of the um, applications this type of technology could be utilized in? Right. So the mobility is industry itself is really almost like our sandbox almost anything within the mobility industry is a perfect mm -hmm. application for us because we really need that requirement of varying torque. So anything that needs power with speed is a great application for us. Mm -hmm. Okay, so could it be like heavier duty like on highway like trucks or could it also be used in the off highway markets such as maybe construction or agricultural equipment? Yeah, so to date we've done everything on highway. We're just starting to get into the off highway and we've got some phenomenal results from our simulations and we're starting to work with partners and off highway the larger the equipment we find the better the results and mm -hmm. in addition most of the component manufacturers on the market today the industry standards are substantially less than what we bring to market with our coil driver mm -hmm. okay could you maybe go into that aspect a little bit about like how the larger it is the better it performs and maybe why is that and what about maybe the technology enables that or is it because, just because of the size of the equipment or? Right, uh, it's the technology. So in most of the larger applications, you're gonna find a two speed or a three speed gearbox mm -hmm. or a very large battery to be able to deliver the torque that that type of application needs with speed. With our drive, you're able to optimize the system, reduce the size of the motor. So you get an, a smaller motor and you can normally eliminate the need of a two speed gearbox. You may need still some gearing, but not a two speed heavy mechanical gearbox. So that's really a big differential to most of the other technology that's on the market today. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. And so what maybe has been one of the benefits of partnering with Linamar on this project? I mean, what are they bringing to the project and what is XRO bringing to it? Yeah, so for, for us, Linamar was a very strategic partner. It's somebody that we approached many months ago. They were already working on an e-axle development and we wanted them to see what our technology could really bring to the market. And, and the reason we wanted somebody like Linamar was because we knew, you know, it's hard bringing new technology to market and something that's never been done before and people can be skeptical. So we really wanted to work with a partner that could, first of all, validate from what they see from our engineering teams, but also had a legacy in the automotive industry itself. And Linamar has a phenomenal reputation for being you know, a, a tier one automotive supplier with expertise in the industry. And we thought if we could bring that together with our new generation, our next gen um, development, we could really have an industry standard and kind of set the benchmark for what mm -hmm. the future would be. Right, okay. Do you uh, see these types of 
partnerships especially beneficial when developing electro um, electric vehicle components such as the e-axle or are they become kind of seeing them become more common in the industry yeah we we've seen a, a, a real big trend towards e-axles and i think it's because it offers a more cost-effective compact solution uh, it's less complicated than the, the previous generation like what we do now even with a direct drive application um, i also think that you know the industry is booming but it's still an industry that's really in its infancy everybody's racing you know mm -hmm. the government's setting all kinds of targets that the reality is most of us don't know how we're even going to meet those targets so the ability to get these components and really think years ahead i think is key mm -hmm. right okay and so are there maybe any other aspects that you haven't covered already that are maybe different or unique about this e-axle technology or um, other benefits that there might be to an OEM integrate choosing to integrate it into their vehicle designs? Yeah, in particular with the Linamar project, Linamar being a tier one supplier, being an automotive legacy supplier, really a key metric for them is a cost effective solution. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times when you look to the new solutions, they're great and they bring the torque and power requirements, but they're much more expensive. And so mm -hmm. definitely as we worked with Linamar, the ability to meet cost targets was fundamental to the project. And then from there, the ability to have torque and speed, we were able to also in our simulations right now, increase the efficiency, the overall system efficiency. We're targeting over a two and a half percent increase in range, which is huge for the off highway and mm -hmm. commercial vehicle segment. Um, so we're really excited about the next steps in the partnership and really further developing the relationship with Linamar and into the automotive segment. Mm -hmm. Okay. What um what maybe about the design of the e axle enables those efficiency gains? If you're able to go into that at all, yeah, a little bit I can go into it. So <laughs> it's, it's all coming from the coil driver itself. So with okay. the coil driver, we're essentially bringing the gearing into the drive. So because we're electronically controlling, it's like having a new brain in a body. Mm -hmm. So we're we're making that whole powertrain think in a whole new way, mm -hmm. and we tie that up with Linamar's already you know, great design, they have a high RPM motor. And that means that we just eliminate a lot of those extra components. We reduce the motor size substantially because we're driving it through the, through the, through the controller, through the inverter. Mm -hmm. Okay, gotcha. So maybe, um, I know, again, I know you kind of touched on this before, but I mean, how does uh, Extro or how do you see electrification and technologies for electromobility kind of advancing or evolving in the coming years? Right. Um, so in particular, in the commercial trucking segment off highway or on highway, I think it's a different mindset than if we think about passenger vehicles or micro mobility. When I think to micro mobility and passenger vehicles, we're thinking about something that's a lifestyle choice. But when we think to commercial, we're, we're, we're talking about companies that need to remain profitable, need to meet these government regulations. So I think by far I see a trend to more cost effective solutions. And I think we need to be considerate of that as component suppliers. Um, and the e-axle really enables that. Through an e-axle, you can get a more cost effective solution. You can reduce cost and weight, which brings other benefits. So I think the e-axle is the next generation for commercial trucking, but I think it's coming because this is a business choice, not a lifestyle choice when we're talking about commercial trucking. Right, okay. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me today and provide some insight into the e-axle technology you guys are developing and just trends you're seeing in the industry. Thank you so much for having me and I look forward to updating you as we get farther along in the business and the project.